Okay, I've cut out four rounds from my pastry using a small sauce. You don't want a really big sauce because you won't get enough servings. And um, so, and I've just used all my leftovers and re-rolled them. The, when you make um, these re-rolls, they're not quite the same quality as your first cutting out. And because you're working the pastry a bit more, it can shrink on you. Um, so I've tried to make it as big as possible. So it, I will do expect it to shrink on me on cooking. Okay, so I'm getting at least five from the quantity of pastry we've made, which is about 250 grams. So two cups of flour and the 120 grams of butter. So that's the one. That's the re-roll one. Okay, and I could perhaps make a, a sixth one from it if I tried with this, and that would be really, really tough, and that'd be use a lot of muscle power to do. And if I chilled it, it'd probably come up okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to fill all of my rounds with the filling and it's going to have a twist to it. Now some of my family spent some time over in the UK and they and they had the opportunity to visit Cornwall and actually visit St Clair where my um, great grandfather had come from and he brought all his family across and they went to Adelaide and they were quite a young family their parents had died at a fairly young age and they decided to migrate to the land of opportunity and uh, came here and um, they traveled all around you know they were in Adelaide and then they went into Victoria some ended up in New Zealand and, um, and it's really interesting when you look into your family history. And um, so some of the family decided to go and check out St. Clair. Now the Cornish pasty that I've always made was what we have here. But they found out there was a little twist to, to that. But they actually, it also provided dessert. So I'm gonna see if I can do for the first time ever the little dessert twist with it so fun facts cornwall is actually the surfing capital of the uk as well is it the warm currents that flow up from the mediterranean mm -hmm. and from down south actually pass through cornwall so they get uh, a very um, decent swell but also the water's warmer i wouldn't say it's warm Mm -hmm. It's certainly warmer. Um, oh, that's why they often get uh, sharks along there as well. The, uh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Well, I'm just using... Um, that's probably why the, the pirates liked it as well down Penzance Yes, place. yeah, the pirates were in Cornwall, a big pirate area. Um, so we have egg wash. It's an egg and milk, mainly egg, just a tiny bit of milk. You don't want to dilute it um, too much because it won't do what it's supposed to do. Now, we're going to... Are you meant to be rolling it first? Or do you have to say, are you missing an ingredient? Oh, I know. That has to go in a corner. Oh, okay. Separate. Oh, the special, the special, special ingredient. The special effect, yeah. So I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm going to try this little twist. So there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can do the handle at the top and see how I'm using my fingers. That's what the miners used to grip, grip on to and throw away. They didn't mm -hmm. need the crust, they just used it as a handle. And here we have a little corner and I'm going to do this little twist. So I'm going to seal it down and using a teaspoon, just a teaspoon, I'm going to put a bit of jam in. This is dessert. That's and this is what the jam. miners used to do. This is homemade plum jam. I've heard it's pretty good, that plum jam. Uh, you wouldn't have made it, would you? Uh, By any chance? <laughs> okay, a bit of plum jam. And this is a first ever for me. I've always just done it with the everything else and I'll probably put too much in. Apple is um, is a popular thing as well. Uh, stewed mm. apple, they used to put Stewed in. apple, they used to put in. Because they have you know, pears and mm. apple for their cider and they'd always have a few extras left over. Okay, so let's see if that works. There's my little... That's my dessert I'm end. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. This is lunch. And then we 
we glaze them and we put them on a tray. Now you shouldn't have to grease a tray. There's so much fat in the pastry. With a non-sweet pastry, you shouldn't have to grease your tin. So is it the, it's the sugar that usually makes it stick? Yes, I'm wondering if the sugar <laughs> from the jam is going to make we'll it. We'll find out soon. We'll find out very soon. And so another way of um, sealing them up is this way. So you'll find there's a couple of different ways of doing it. And I'm going to see if oh, I can do some more the, jam ones. I reckon the gotcha. family are going to look... Well, I do remember seeing them in, in the UK done the first way. Mm -hmm. But this uh, second way is what I'm used and to this, as a kid. Yeah, this is the... A lot of Australian bakeries did it this way. And we're going to seal down there. See if we can put a little pocket of jam in the corner for our dessert. Yeah. This is the way you often see it in the, in the bakeries, like that. Mm. So this, you don't, they don't normally use a fork, they normally do... You know, Fingers, do, yeah. That looks, that, that looks pretty... Uh, Pretty legitimate. And what you do so. too, um, you usually put a couple of um, steam holes in as Just well. Just to let the, uh, let the steam out. The pressure out, yeah. As John Farnham said, we need to take the pressure down while they cool. Do you like my humour still? <laughs> yeah, good. Okay, how's that going? I'll this one. Yeah. Got to be come out nice and glossy. Now there's two different ways to do it and um, and I'll just finish off the rest of them and we're going to bake these at 220 degrees Celsius. How about I do another traditional top? Yeah, I'll do it that way. For those that are overseas, the Fahrenheit style people that might be viewing this, not realising it's done for primary school or high school kids. What's the Actually, Fahrenheit equivalent? Year 9. Year 9. Year, year 9 food technology. It's 2020 for those who, uh, who are wondering. And that's year nine, learning about the Australian food supply and food in Australia and the history of um, our food supply and where it's come from and also uh, the future of our food supply. Mm -hmm. And we've been learning all of that. So there we go. At least we know this one, which end has the dessert yeah, it's a bit of a surprise with the other one, isn't it? Mm. There you go. Year 9, I hope you enjoy this. Don't forget to do your little uh, air holes. No. Nope. Steam holes. Oops. Oh, oh dear. Stabbed in the wrong place. Gee. We'll go back to the other one. Do, do half and half. Sure. May as well. Okay, make sure we get our leg down the other end. We might pop it up this way a bit. So we can have our jam pocket down the other end. Mm Guess what? Mm -hmm. Made the jam pocket and didn't put the jam in. <laughs> that would be an extra surprise for somebody expecting a jam mm, pocket. It did on me. That's right. It's in that great plum jam. Mm, I'm looking forward to tasting your beautiful plum jam. You make good jam. It's very nice. And you make good um, sourdough. Mm -hmm. We've got the whole family making sourdough now. There's a bit of a competition going on. It doesn't need to be a competition. No, it doesn't need to be a competition, but... Um, you know. Theory, man. You yeah. raised some competitive children. <laughs> oh, well, that's better, better than being dull. No, we're definitely not dull, that's for sure. Now, this is the re-roll one. It'll be interesting to see how this one mm. um, functions in the end. So I'll do this the traditional way, and... Um, but it will be a slightly different quality. I can even feel it in the thickness. I didn't quite get it as thin as the others. Mm -hmm. Reroll uh, pastry is always harder to um, to roll out as thinly as you'd you'd like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just seal that end up, and we will lay 
amazement. And we're now going to bake these. Okay. So we've got uh, 220 degrees. 220 degrees. That's fan forced. If you're not fan forced. Yes, well. 240 and fan forced. No, well, you could actually take it down being fan forced. We'd probably take it down to 210. Okay. And um, that might still be, work out okay. Mm -hmm. How long is it going in there for? So about uh, about 20 to 30 minutes. 20. You, you know when the crust is a beautiful golden brown mm -hmm. colour, it's, you have it so hot so mm. that the meat and the uh, vegetables inside will cook because they do go in raw. Okay. So it has to be in for that length of time, have a lovely golden colour, and then it's ready to eat. Perfect.